What's up YouTube, this is Coding for Noobs and welcome to your fourth Java tutorial. In this tutorial, like I said before, we're going to be inputting some variables and then manipulating them. So basically I've taught you about the integer variable and how to import, or not import, but get input from the user. So we're going to leave this code, or actually the only code we're going to leave is our scanner. And basically we're going to make a little currency converter. So as I said before, um, Integers can only be like whole numbers, so we can't have decimals. If we want to use something with a decimal, we're going to use the variable double. So we're going to have double dbl um, input. And what this is going to do is we're going to create a double, which is like a number like 0 0.222233233, whatever, you know, just something with a decimal on it. And then we're also going to create another one, dbl double dbl right and then double dbl final or we'll just call it dbl output <coughs> sorry about that um, alright so now we have our three variables declared now for the purpose of this tutorial we're gonna set dbl right is equal to 1.25 and what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna get the user to input or give us a number which we're going to store in dbl input and then we're going to multiply it by our rate and then we're going to give them the output so like we did before let's do system.out.println please enter your input or please enter your number and then we'll have just print like before just to make it look a little bit neater and then we do dbl input is equal to sc dot next double now the beautiful thing about using the scanner class is that it actually converts our input for us later when I teach you about the buffered reader you'll actually going to have to do something like double dot parse double and what this will do is it'll parse a string so it'll convert a string into the double but with the scanner which is why I'm teaching you scanner right now you don't have to do parsing and it just makes the code a little bit simpler for you to learn from. Now, like I said before, we're going to take our input and we're going to multiply it by our write and we're going to set our output equal to input times write. So to do this, all we have to do is dbl output is equal to dbl input times dbl write. So what we're doing here is we're taking this variable and we're multiplying it by this variable which is set to 1.25 and we're setting this sorry and we're getting the value value and storing it in this variable so when we do system.out.println your new number is dbl output we're just going to output sorry I forgot the plus uh, we're just going to output the new number that we've created from the user input multiplied by our rate. So we're going to do OK. And say we're just going to do 10. 10 times 1.25 is actually equal to 12.5. So as you can see, that's basically it for our application. We've had variable declaration. We've set the value of our value of our variable, we've had some user input, we've manipulated the user's data, and we've output the result to the console window. In our next tutorial, we're going to do uh, some loops. Actually, no, we'll do some if statements first, and then we'll do some loops later. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please just comment below, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, write, do what you got to do. Um, see ya.